Good afternoon, kindergarten boys and girls. My name is Miss Phil and Jim, and I am an ARI reading specialist for Mobile County Public School System. I am so excited to be here with you today to teach your phonics lesson. Now, I support the teachers and students at Fondy Elementary School, so I wanted to give a special hello to all the boys and girls who are tuning in for our lesson today. And also to all the other boys and girls in Mobile County Public School System, I have spoken to your teachers throughout the past several weeks and they all miss you and they are so excited and proud of how responsible you're being at home to complete your at-home assignments. So regardless if you are working online through Google Classroom and completing assignments that your teachers have given you, or if you picked up a packet at your school to complete your instructional activities, this lesson that we're going to do today will help you to build your reading skills and it will help you master those letters and sounds that we've been learning in kindergarten. So let's move on and let's get started with our lesson. Today we are going to learn to read and spell words with the W sound. W is the sound that we hear at the beginning of the word wagon. Um, when we make the W sound, our lips make a circle. So I want you to watch and listen as I make the W sound. W. And notice that I'm making a short clipped sound. I want you to make that sound with me. W. Let's do it one more time. W. Awesome job, boys and girls. Now, the sound W is the sound that we hear at the beginning of the word wagon. So today, I brought a wagon with me and I went on a scavenger hunt around my house and looked for items that began with the w sound. So as I pull items out of my wagon, I want you to listen very carefully to what that beginning sound is, and it should be the w sound. So as I was going through my house, I found a water bottle, and water begins with the w sound. Say that sound with me again, w. Awesome job, boys and girls. Another object that I found at my house is a washcloth, and wash also begins with the w sound. Say wash with me, wash. And what's that beginning sound? W, awesome job. Now, another object that I found that I'm sure many of you might have at home, because maybe you're saving some money so that when we're able to go out and go shopping and go to the stores, you might can spend some money on something special and go do something fun. So I found a wallet when I was at home, and wallet also begins with the w sound. Another object I found at home is a watch. Watch also begins with w. Say the word watch, watch. What is that beginning sound that you hear in watch? W, awesome job, guys. And then another object I found, and this is a type of candy, and I'm sure many of you love to eat these, and sometimes you can buy them and they're sour. Can you guess what type of candy I might have in my wagon? They are worms, sour worms. Worms also begin with the w sound. So I want to go back over the objects that I have, and I want you to say the name of the object, and then we're gonna say the w sound together. So these are worms, and the beginning sound is w. I have a water bottle, and the beginning sound for water is w. My wallet begins with the w sound, and we have a watch, which also begins with the w sound, and then we have our washcloth that begins with the w sound. Very good job, guys, listening for the w sound. Now I want us to play a game. So if you are sitting on your couch or if you are sitting at a kitchen table or on the floor, I want you to stand up with Miss Phil and Jim and we are going to play a game called Miss Phil and Jim Says. Now listen carefully for my directions. What we're going to do, if Miss Phil and Jim says a word that begins with the w sound, I want you to wave your hands in the air and think about why we might be waving. The word wave also begins with the w sound. If Miss Phil and Jim says a word that doesn't begin with the w sound, we're going to shake our head no, because we are only listening for that beginning sound of w. All right, I think we're ready. So everybody is standing up, and I want you to um, listen to Miss Phil and Jim. I'm going to give you an example. If Miss Phil and Jim says the word wiggle, 
then you all should be waving your hands in the air because wiggle begins with the w sound. If I was to say the word jump, we would not wave our hands, would we? Because jump begins with the j sound. And we are listening for that w sound. All right, here we go. Your first word, Miss Phil and Jim says weather. All right, boys and girls, I know a lot of you are waving your hands in the air because weather begins with the w sound. Great job. Miss Phil and Jim says window. Awesome job. Keep waving those hands in the air because window also begins with the w sound. Miss Phil and Jim says turtle. No, we are shaking our head no because turtle begins with the t sound and we are listening for the w sound. Miss Phil and Jim says woman. I see those hands waving. Awesome job. Woman begins with the w sound. What about the word mermaid? No, I see heads shaking. What sound does mermaid begin with? Mmm, very good. Miss Phil and Jim says Wednesday. Awesome job. We're waving our hands because we hear the w sound at the beginning of Wednesday. And one more. Miss Phil and Jim says walnut. Awesome job. We're waving our hand because walnut begins with the w sound. Great job, boys and girls, listening for that beginning sound. Now, I am going to show you the letter that represents the w sound. The letter W says w, and the letter W is found at the end of the alphabet, just like Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So W is towards the end of our alphabet, and the letter W makes the w sound. So what I want us to do now is we're going to practice writing the W. And we're going to pull out our pointer finger. I know all of you are very familiar with our pointer finger. And we are going to trace the letter W in the air. Now I want you to watch me because when we're tracing, I want our eyes on the letter so we can make sure that we are correctly forming that letter. So we're going to use our pointer finger. Our eyes will be on the letter W and we are going to trace. So I'm going to trace W, and as I'm tracing, I want you to say the letter name. W, W. We will draw an imaginary line underneath our letter and say the sound. Let me show you one more time. W, W. And notice my eyes are on the letter. So I want you to take your pointer finger. We're going to trace it three times. When we trace, we are saying the name of the letter, and then it's sound. Are we ready? Pointer fingers up. Eyes on the letter and trace. W, W, W. One more time. W, W. Great job, boys and girls. Now I want you to take your pointer finger and we are going to place it on our knees so that we can feel how to correctly form the letter W. And we're going to trace it three more times. Keep your eyes on the letter W. W, 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 W. Awesome job tracing, boys and girls. Now, after our lesson is over and throughout the week, I'm going to give you some ideas on how you can continue working on correctly writing that W. So if you are, um, actually you need to ask your parents for permission, but on a beautiful day like today, we could actually go outside. Maybe you have a sandbox or you have some dirt outside your house and you can take that pointer finger and you can trace your W and say it sound. Or, if you're staying inside, you can ask your parents or your grandparents or somebody um, if you can have some shaving cream or maybe some flour that they use in the kitchen to bake with. And you can sprinkle some on the table, taking that pointer finger and tracing your letters and saying the sound. And that will help you master your letter recognition and the sounds that those letters make. Awesome job. Now, guys, now that we have learned what letter says, what? We are going to practice blending some sounds with our um, W sound and make words. But before we do that, I want us to review our vowels because our vowels are going to be the sounds that we use to blend with our W sound. So I know that we've learned all of our vowels in kindergarten already, but I want you to review these with me. I'm going to show you the vowel. And remember, we have five vowels and the vowel can make two sounds. But today, we are going to work on the short sound. Notice that my pointer finger is shorter than my middle finger. Vowels make two sounds. 
They can be short or they can be long. But today, when we are blending sounds, we are going to use the short sound for our vowels. All right, so I want you to tell me the name of the letter, which is a vowel, and then we're going to say the sound. Okay, this is the A, and it says A, ah, as in A, ah, A, ah, apple. Great job. Another vowel is our E, and it says E, eh, as in Ed the elephant, or we have the edge of the table. Our next vowel is the letter I, and I says I, like if we have an itch or we're scratching our leg, I, I, itch. Then we have our O, and O says ah, ah, octopus. Very good. And our last vowel is the vowel U, and U's short sound is uh, 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 or umbrella. Okay, so those are our vowels, and again, we're going to use the short sound when we are blending. Now, Ms. Phil and Jim is going to do the first word for you, and I'm going to show you how we're going to blend some words. <clears throat> I'm going to write the letter and say the sound. My vowel, I. So I'm going to blend w, I, and then I will add my final sound, g. So my word is wig. Watch me again. W, I, g, wig. This word is wig. Now I want you to do some with me. I'm going to write the first letter, which is going to be our W, and we just learned that W says W. And then I'm going to add a vowel to it, and we're going to blend the W and the vowel. Sound. W. Good job. Sound. E. Awesome. Let's blend these two sounds. W. And then I'm going to add that final sound. N. Win. This word is win. Awesome job, boys and girls, blending. Our next word, I'm going to make up a nonsense word because we can blend words that are silly words. We call them make-believe words and blend our sounds for that, okay? Same procedure. I'm going to write the letter, and I want you to tell me the sound. Sound. W. Awesome. Sound. Uh. Great job. W. And I'm going to add my final sound. D. Very good. My word is wood. We'll do this one again. W. Uh. We blend. Wood. Wood. Our word is wood. And that's a make believe word, but we can still read those nonsense words. Our next word is going to have a spelling pattern that you actually learned on Monday with Mr. Jackson. I want you to pay very careful attention to this word. Sound. W. Awesome job. Sound, I. Great. Blend, we. Sound, th. Now blend, with. Our word is with. Great job. We learned on Monday that th is a digraph. Those are two letters that make one sound. So again, this word is w, i, th. With. Awesome job. I'm so proud of you guys. Y'all are working hard today. Already this afternoon, we have learned a new sound. We learned that W is the letter that makes that sound. And we have learned to blend sounds to make words. So let's go back and read these words together that we just blended together. Wig, win, would, and with. Great job. Let's do it one more time, and we're going to read from bottom to top. With, would, Win, wig. Awesome job. Give yourself a pat on the back. Y'all are working hard this afternoon. All right, the next activity, now that we have learned to blend and read some words with the w sound, we are going to move into word dictation. So we are going to start spelling some words together. Now, as I mentioned earlier, some of you might have picked up a packet from your school. And if you did, inside of your packet, you have a piece of paper, and it says word dictation and sentence dictation. So you can use this paper to complete the next part of our lesson. But if you did not pick up a packet, it's okay. You can use just a piece of paper at home and follow along, or you can just participate like you have been doing. So before we start word dictation, I want to show you a routine that we're going to use when we're spelling words. The routine is I want you to listen to my word. We will pound the word. We will finger tap the word, and then we will write. 
So as we're writing words, we have our pen in our hand, and Miss Billingham is right-handed, so I'm going to be writing with my right hand, and I will be tapping the sounds in my word with my left hand. Okay, watch as I do this um, first word. My word is wit. So I would pound wit because I have one syllable in my word wit. Then I would tap out that word w it. Now I tap three sounds. I heard three sounds in that word and on my paper I have three lines. So each line is going to represent a sound. So the first sound, that beginning sound in wit, I heard w. And we just learned that the w sound is our letter W. So I'm going to write a W on my first line. My second sound, I. I, I, I. Which vowel makes the I sound? I. Great job. I. And then my final sound, T. Which letter says T? T. Great job. So I have just wrote my word, W. It. Wit. Notice that I have a consonant, vowel, consonant. Our W is a new consonant that we learned today. So these are CVC words, consonant, vowel, consonant. Now, I want you to do the next three with me. So pick up your pencil or your pen that you're writing with. I'm going to say the word. You're going to pound that word. We will tap out the sounds, and then we will write. All right, our word is wag. Pound, wag. Tap, w-ag. How many sounds did you hear in the word wag? Three? So did I. Awesome job. That first sound, w. Which letter says w? W. Great job. Then we have our vowel, a, a, a. Which letter says a? A. Great job. And our last sound, g. What letter says g? G. Awesome. Our word is wag. W. Ag. Wag. Awesome job, guys. Let's do another one together. This one might be a little tricky on that final sound, so listen carefully. My word is wish. Pound, wish. Tap, w, i, sh. All right, that first sound, w, w, i, i, sh. Hmm. I think sh has two letters in it. Does anyone know the two letters that say sh? S-H. Y'all are so smart. Awesome job. I have w-ish, wish. Great job, boys and girls. Now let's do one more. And this word is wed. Pound, wed. Tap, w-ed. How many sounds? Three. Awesome job. That first sound, w. W. Eh, like eh, the elephant, eh, eh, e, awesome job. And our final sound, d, that is a d, great job. Now, I want you to really look at this d also because sometimes we get these confused with our b's. But remember, when we're writing a d, we have the drum and then we have the drum stick. So drum, that helps us remember the d and not the b. Awesome job. Now, let's go back and read our words. We're going to read from top to bottom, and then we're going to read our words that we just spelled from bottom to top. Here we go. Our first word, wit, wag, wish, wed. Great job. One more time. Wed, wish, wag, wit. What do all of these words have in common? Let's take a couple of seconds. What do all these words have in common? How are they the same? They all begin with the letter W, which makes the W sound. Great job. Now I'm going to add some vocabulary questions in. You might know, um, two of these words you might have never heard before. So I'm going to ask you a question, and I want you to look back at your list of words and tell me which word you think that it means. Okay? So this is a verb. This word is a verb, and it's something that a dog might do when they really want a treat. They might do this with their tail if they want a treat. Wag. Y'all are so smart. Some of you might have a dog at home right now that's wagging their tail. Wag. Good job. The next word, this is something that you might say you really want this to happen. You might do this when you're blowing your candles out um, on a birthday cake. And what would that word be? Wish. Great job. 
This is a new word probably for most of you, and this word means if someone is really quick to say something funny, they're pretty clever or smart, that word is wit. And then our last word, wed, this word is short for wedding. So if someone is to get married, they are to be wed, they're getting married, that word is wed. Awesome job, guys. Now we're going to move into something a little more challenging, and we're going to take what we know and we're going to make a sentence. So I want you to listen carefully to my sentence, and we're going to do the same thing that we did when we wrote out our words. We are going to pound every word in that sentence, and we are going to write it with correct capitalization and correct punctuation. So my sentence is, the web got wet. Repeat after me. The web got wet. Pound it. The web got wet. Now, how many times did you pound? Four times. So that means we should have four words in our sentence. So I'm going to draw four lines for my sentence. And the first word in my sentence was the. And that's one of our sight words. So I know that you know how to write that word. So I'm going to write that word with you. And remember, when we are writing um, a sentence, the first word in that sentence is always capitalized. So I have a capital T and then H-E. That's our sight word, the. Very good. Now, what was my next, my next word? The web. Very good. Let's tap out the word web. W-E-B. Great job. Let's write it. That first letter is W. E would be E. B. B. Very good. Pay attention to that B. Remember when we, when we write a B, we have a stick and a ball. The word is web. Very good. The web got. Now that's a consonant vowel, consonant word. So I want you to try writing got by yourself. The web got. Okay. G is a G, A, O, T, T. Very good. And then our last word in our sentence, the web got wet. That's another word that begins with the W sound. Let's tap it out. W, E, T. Very good. Let's write wet. W, that's our W, E, T. Now, boys and girls, we have our sentence, and we always have to end our sentence with a punctuation mark. So did Ms. Phil and Jim ask a question? Did I use one of my question words, who, what, where, when, or how? No, so I do not need a question mark at the end. I just made a statement. I told you something. I said, the web got wet. So I need to put a period at the end. Great job, boys and girls. You just wrote a full sentence. We have correct capitalization, we have correct punctuation, and we have correct spelling. Awesome job. Now, to wrap up our lesson, I had brought in a book called Wacky Wednesday by Dr. Seuss, and today is Wednesday. And notice that wacky also begins with the w sound, and Wednesday begins with the w sound. So I'm going to read just a couple pages because I know we're running short on time. And I want you to listen for words in my story that begin with the w sound. And if you hear any words that make the w sound, you can do what we did earlier, wave your hands in the air, okay? And this is by Dr. Seuss. It all began with that shoe on the wall. A shoe on a wall shouldn't be there at all. I heard wall. Then I looked up and I said, oh man, and that's how Wacky Wednesday began. I heard Wacky and Wednesday. I looked out the window and I said, gee, more things were wacky and I saw three. I went down the hall and I said, hey, three more wacky things were here today. I began to dress and I said, wow, four more things were wacky now. So I heard wow, wacky, Wednesday. And if, I, if you have this book at home, you can go and read it and look at all the wacky things that Dr. Seuss did and find those W words that begin with w. And also inside of your packet, there are some other things that you can do. You can build words write words using that w sound. Boys and girls, I am so um, thankful that you participated in our lesson today, and I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday at 2 o'clock. Have a great rest of the day.